Hi, Uncle John here, and we're going to get started on the ferry base. Uh, when I left, I heard a Gimme Ghoul coin, and it was kind of driving me nuts between videos, and I found it. So, it's here on top of this Poke Center. And we got one Gimme Ghoul coin and a little bit less grumbling out of that. So, um, this is where we went and killed the Chanseys to grind while we were in Paldea, so um, it forces us to land. We kind of have already seen this cutscene before, but we're going to go through it again. Okay, here's Clive. Uncle John, Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Uncle John, what do you think of Cassiopeia? They can't be trusted. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment toward Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd best go back. Keep watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay? You dig? Alright, there you go, you old square. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? Yes. Okay, so it doesn't take us all the way back to the start of this. Okay, splendid, then let us begin. I was I was not ready when we were farming and bumped into this. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Harrington. Sends out Morgrim. We're gonna spit send out Gyarados. If I recall correctly, Hatterene is a uh, fairy psychic, so weak to bug. Rhyhorn has Megahorn. And we are going to actually bother with tight matchups. Well, it doesn't matter. It might matter. It doesn't matter. Well, well. Okay, so we beat the piano teacher, and now we're going to go and... An outstanding performance. However, be aware that Mas young Master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hasta la Vistar. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's tutoring the boss in s or something. He shows up here, like, sometimes to take the boss s to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting that you know you're here to make trouble. I gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la Vistar. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. The base belongs to Team Star's ferry crew. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and the things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his search fuse. Short fuse. 
get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out, out till Tigger comes and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Rookba squad off the map. Actually, we're going to go look at some TMs. Probably should have done this bef between episodes, but I realized that uh, my slow king is kind of terrible. So, filter learnable moves. We only want sloking learnable moves. Let's look and see if we can get anything poison. Acid spray. We have one. It only costs 800 league points. Okay, it looks like we're just going to have to count on being massively overleveled here. We don't really have a lot of choices for super effective moves. Beep. <laughs> code red, code red, Operation Starfall Alert. Everyone get into position to defend the boss with all you got. And rest assured, intruder, we'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, that is. Good luck with that.
And that's it. Those three. And victory. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. of Team Star's Ferry Cruise. Huh, so you're Uncle John. Okay. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm going to lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. Yeah, bro, I took on Bean the last one. You challenge player, take it, Team Star. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when this battle sends you blubbering back there. Oopsie, did you just realize how outmatched you are? You want to give up? Uh, no. Bird fell in love. The opposing Wigglytuff fainted. <laughs> Taste of this flick move, but you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. Yeah, that's why I'm not using Pokemon to weak the fairy. There goes Deli Bird. Oh. 
What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Your roller is super effective. I missed this pain of battle. I heard you stun it. Well, this is now high enough level that we need to get out. My home became confused from its confused ray. We still get off our stun. Not super effective. Our heart is confused. Hurt ourselves in our confusion. Right horn faints. But we've got stab super effective acid spray from Slow King. Hardly any damage. And faint. He defeated Tega, Team Star. How can I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ah, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not given enough juice. You designed the things to be powered by two char cadet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bully's faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come on, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I would have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mella, cool it, will you? Yeah, how about no? I mean... We even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started S Team Star, we swore we'd quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, we got to crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. It's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep, I'm going to train up my Char Cadet and have them evolve. Their boost of firepower will get the Starmobile moving no sweat. But the hour of Starfall, Operation Starfall is not at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Mella shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. 
God, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not like I have a choice anyway. So take this badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. Team Star's Ferry Crew defeated. Starfall Street. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM2. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Dazzling Gleam. You put TM79 in your bag's TM's pocket. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss tile. So, I'm all good to head home. Ah, actually, it's a different matter that brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why grow, join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the Academy really did have an issue with bullying. So the Academy really did have a... used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school's all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I am best in position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. And an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate to a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But there aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as puzzling... Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. That student declared that they would take all the responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other Team Star students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then, I signed. 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had her them return home to the gallery region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the Academy's servers. It appears intent, his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. Afterwards, we discovered what he'd done, and I dealt with it appropriate, appropriately. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my direct position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Terrington, how come you decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, 
Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends, and I'm not going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends on Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? Because it's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. Okay. That is our fourth down. Uncle John, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then? I see. With its boss no longer around, the Rook Boss Squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation has been a huge success, thanks to you, Uncle John. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that you're acquaintances. How long have you known each other? Not all that long. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? As you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head-on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from action on the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies thing dropped out of school, one after another, and Team Star ended up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now about your award, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as I promised. You're under that 10,000 LP. You can now make more types of TMs. Make good use of these TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep should be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Um, here I am. Yeah. Ah, stay in your Pokeball for once, will ya? Ah! Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everybody's eyes? What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the Academy was. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star, just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. Okay, we received a lot of Pokemon materials. Your next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Uncle John. And we are right at the 30-minute mark. And so I think it's time for me to ask you all to like, comment, subscribe, and let your friends know about it if you've been enjoying my videos. Um, our next boss is clear over here. I'm going to go ahead and set that as a destination, and I'm going to check if I've got any uh, Poke Centers near there, and the closest one is clear over at the Glacido Gym. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, also, I want you all to have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.